We we on the same team right there. We're gonna all be on the same team because Zach Frazier is no longer a West Virginia. He is a Pittsburgh Steeler and Pitt alum and West Virginia alum can all meet in the middle with this one. It was the best pick in the draft. I I, I said that, right? You did say that. that. That was what you said was from the, the beginning. That was the yeah. pick the Steelers needed to make. You definitely said that, man. But I told you that. That's why you thought that. <laughs> You know what I mean? No, I, we just needed a center. I took you over that West Virginia stuff. Baby. We like, just yeah. needed a center. And Zach Frazier was one of the top three centers. And he was there in the second round. We didn't have to trade oh, up or anything man. to get him. You had a bunch of highlights against Pitt. I sent you Oh, that. man. It was a down year last year. Down year. He said, yo, he got drafted strict off the pit games. Yo, put that tape on, bro. Like I said, with West yeah. Virginia, once in a blue moon, they do have a good prospect. And Zach Frazier is that guy this year for them. Man, I thought Zach Frazier was the best center in the draft. I thought, really? I really did. Like, I, really did. Uh, uh, I need to hear this out. Now, Let's now, hear this. Are we surprised that he would think that that's I'm the not, best I'm not, but one. I want to hear I'm the case. Surprised. He's a I'm Steeler now, so I'm, yeah. you know, I, I want to see why he'll be better than Jackson Powers, he, Johnson, and Barton. I kind of was saying that before the draft. I was like, man, I think, I think you were. Like I think you were when yeah, we did the mock draft, yeah. right? Yeah, he did. Yeah, I was like, he's the dog, like at the center position. Mm-hmm. He's aggressive. He's um, he gets down He's physical. He's like a true. I don't know, like everything about him is stiller to me. Nah, you know you're right. I mean? Yeah, everything about him is still like I'm here to maul you. Like I'm here to, you know. I'm he got he, he got that wrestler but, on him. That's that's yeah. him, bro. He got that about him. But I'm smart too, mm-hmm. you know. Like I'm smart, I'm crafty too. Like you know, I thought I thought I thought he was the best center. I thought he was a dog. I think he can move. I think he's physical. You know, uh, he's aggressive. I think that center position, and it's, I've learned so much more. But it's like that center position is such a key position on your offense. If you can get a dude like, there, it could change a lot for you. Facts. If you get a dude to control mm-hmm. like truly the center of that line, you can do so much. So mm-hmm. it's like. I think that'll open that run game up the way they want. I think that's a, a spot like they were super excited about. Like that's a big, big pickup. Yeah. You think about the Le'Veon years, the, the best years, like the pouncey was there. Of like course. it's always like, yeah, you get you a center that can really control things. Think about, um, you know. I mean, historically, we've always had a dope center. Like you said, man, Jeff Hardens, Damani Dawson, yeah. obviously uh, Mike Webster. I mean, we do that, you know. Yeah. So, I mean, I think this is a good pickup. Like, um, he can come in and kind of learn and run things. And, you know, I yeah. think they'll I think they'll really try to really run the ball. I think that's really, once again, what they're saying. Like, you're really trying to get back to who they who, – who Pittsburgh is. Like, yeah. run the ball. Run the ball, play good defense. So, so. Did you think he was going to be there at 51? I was surprised he was still there. I was surprised he was still there. Because we had to trade up to get him in the mock draft. Seriously, all of them was having him gone. Yeah, I didn't think he was still either. I was surprised he was still there. 